Good morning and welcome to Williams Dog Training Company. We're here today with Fred and Penny and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today is Penny's ability to understand and respond to her obedience commands, the corrections and motivations that we use while we're working her through her commands, and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot training leash. He's going to keep the bulk of that leash folded neatly in his right hand, leaving his left hand free to give the correction. The correction that we give is a tug and release on the training collar, which is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Penny has been fitted with her own personal training collar, and we will be sure to show you how to properly put that collar on and use it during your one-on-one -on -one lesson. Now, as you can see, Penny is seated very nicely on Fred's left-hand side, which is where all of our obedience training takes place. The first command that they're going to demonstrate for you is healing, and healing is proper walking on a leash. Fred and Penny take off doing that now and the command that you're going to give is Penny heel and you're going to start walking and then Penny should fall in line nicely healing at your left heel position and she should be walking at your pace and not lagging behind on that leash nor should she be lunging ahead and trying to pull on that leash. Also incorporated into our healing exercise is an automatic sit, which you just saw occur. So anytime that you're out walking with Penny and you stop, she should sit nicely, automatically at your left heel position. The next command they're going to demonstrate is the stay command, and the stay command is both the hand and a voice command. You're going to use the open flat of your left palm an inch or so in front of her muzzle and the one word command to stay, and then walk out to the end of your training leash. Now Penny should remain seated in this position and should not break from this position throughout the entire command. This is a great command to practice frequently throughout your day to help build up Penny's ability to sit and stay for longer periods of time. When you're practicing at home, you start at one minute and you'll increase your time intervals working up to three minutes. She should not be sniffing the ground to become distracted, so Fred just told her no and lifted her head off the ground. Same thing goes for when you're healing her. Her head should not be down focusing on the ground, but up and focusing on healing. Now Fred returns back by walking all the way around and behind her counterclockwise, returning back to heel position so that Penny is on his left hand side, and they're going to run through their heel sit and stay again. You saw Fred bend down and give Penny a little pet on the head there. It is very important that when you're working Penny through her commands and she completes them appropriately, you let her know so by using lots of positive reinforcement, whether it's verbal praise or physically petting her. Just keep her motivated by reinforcing her positively. Fred left her in another sit stay and now they're going to demonstrate the recall or the come on command. You use Penny's name. Penny come to come into you, where she should come in in front of you and sit nicely. Then return her to heel position by healing her around the back of you, where she returns to your left hand side, sit, sitting nicely waiting for her next command and they're going to demonstrate that again. So leave her in a sit stay, walk out to the end of your leash, give her a moment to hold her sit stay, and then give her the command, Penny come. Gather up the leash as she comes in. When she comes in, make sure she sits nicely. Heel her around the back of you, turning her to your left hand side. She should sit nicely, good job. Now when Penny first comes home, it is very important that you're practicing her commands both indoors as well as outdoors to generalize in both environments. But you wanna make sure that at first you're picking an area with little to no distractions so that you and Penny can focus one-on-one -on, -one on working her through her commands. And then over time throughout your training sessions, you'll slowly increase your amount of distractions. The next command that they're set up to demonstrate for you is our down from a heel position. And this command, again, you're going to use your left hand, but this time straight down towards the ground and the one more command to down. And give the stay command and walk out to the end of your leash. And with the long down stay, Penny should remain laying down in this position throughout the entire command and should not break. This one should also be practiced frequent, frequently throughout your days to help build up her ability to down stay for longer periods of time. In this command, you start at three minutes and over time you increase your intervals working up to five minutes. Now at first, if you cannot get Penny to down stay for three minutes, reduce your time 
and then slowly increase your intervals so that you end up with a total of five minutes for her long down stay. Brett's going to go ahead and return back now, again walking all the way around, returning back to heel position. Let's her know she did a good job. You don't want to over praise them, especially Penny, because she gets very excited with the amount of praise that you give her. So just keep it minimum. Let her know she did a good job. Over excitement will just cause her to become overly excited while working her through her commands. I'm going to demonstrate that down for you again. And then this time, we'll after she holds her down stay for a moment, Fred will demonstrate the recall or the come on command from the down position. She gets up, comes in. Heels are on the back. Good girl. We also recommend that when Penny comes home, that you're practicing her commands every day and about a 15 minute formal obedience training session at least for the first two to four weeks that she's home. Practice makes perfect and will help Penny in transitioning back into the house and learning her new rules. This last command they're going to demonstrate is the down from a distance. Leave Penny in a sit stay, walk out to the end of the leash. And at the end of the leash, you're going to use your right hand to give the down command. No. girl. Now what we are going to be demonstrating for you is a little bit in the beginnings of off-leash, advanced off-leash training. This is something that you can look forward to working to, working on down in the future, but right now Penny should be worked completely with her leash and collar and she should be completing her commands for you 100% of the time before you advance her to off-leash training. And as you can see, we don't even take the leash off. We just drop the leash and increase our distance just a couple feet from her. Again, this is something that's more advanced. And we recommend that you make sure that she is completely trained through her leash and training collar 100% of the time for you before you start to advance by dropping the leash. We've demonstrated for you today all the obedience commands that Penny has learned here at school. It's been a pleasure working with Penny, and we thank you again for choosing Williams Dog Training Company as your personal dog trainer.